Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. This is the tail shaft housing off the transmission of my Buick Wildcat. It's a TH400. Um, so I did another video kind of explaining the differences between the Buick tail shafts and some of the other models. Uh, but this video we're going to talk about staking the bushing. Uh, so, you know, because this bushing, it's just press fit in here. Um, you know, not, not super tight, but it's tight. You can't push it in by hand. I use my press. But because there's a rotating shaft from the drive shaft that goes in here and rubs against here and you get, you know, temperature changes and, you know, vibration and all that stuff, it's possible that it could start to spin inside the housing. So they, the book, the shop manual tells you to stake it. And I had no idea how to do that, but they give you a tool number. And this is the tool. Uh, I don't have the number. Do I have the number? I can't really see it, but I'll post it in the description. But this is the tool number that they have. I found one on eBay. Wasn't too expensive, but basically, you know, all you do is you put it inside the bore of the, of the bushing, put it about, you know, midway down, get it nice and lined up, and then you just give it a good squeeze and you can see that those blocks move out and there's those little pins there. And they just drive through the bushing and they kind of dent it into the wall of the housing. Um, and it just, it kind of pins it in place. And you can see a little hole there, not a hole, but an indent, makes one on both sides. And it just kind of holds it there so it can't loosen up and spin in the shaft. And this is the old one. And it doesn't make it impossible to press out. It just flattens out as you press it, but you can see them there. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if there's other generic tools. Uh, I just happened to search on the part number they gave and found this, this vintage one, and it works fine, and it's adjustable. You can see that little knob. You can unscrew that knob and adjust which hole the pin goes through so you can make it wider if you need to. So I think this is kind of universal for, for other things because uh, you can't, well, maybe you can take a, a, a drift and like, you know, punch it from the side, but it'd be kind of tough to get, to get something in there. Um, but for 25 bucks or 30 bucks, whatever I paid for this, you know, it's pretty cool. That's all there is to it. Um, I did have to kind of file it a little bit because it, it was raised. Maybe I, maybe I didn't do it quite right, but they're nice and smooth now, and I'm good to go. So that's it. That's how you stake a bushing. Take care, everyone.